name is Lucy Deverell and I am an artist working on Gadigal land in Sydney. Working with poetry and photography, my practice attempts to offer a highly personal vision of female queer identity. Interested in the mercurial nature of desire, my work attempts to explore the emotional realms that sit somewhere in the space between choice and compulsion, intimacy and distance, comfort and unease. In creating images, I attempt to discover a tangible emotional undertone. My current photographic project, titled You and Nick Cave's Black Black Hair, explores the notion of relationship anarchy. Linked to polyamory and non-monogamy, relationship anarchy distinguishes itself by positioning that there need not be a formal distinction between romantic, platonic, or sexual relationships. Orienting my practice within the personal, this work emphasizes gender and sexual fluidity and confronts representational norms within relationship structures. Documenting intimate moments between friends and lovers, this work attempts to position the portrait and a still life within the context of separation and love as well as connection and desire. Emotionality is what compels me towards the subject matter. I often gravitate towards a vulnerability within my own lived experience. Organised then by a logic of play and pleasure, my process is about creating a dialogue that goes beyond language. Taking a photograph becomes a gesture and is always in conversation with a larger viewpoint. For me, photography is about showing back beauty in all forms and patterns. My practice concerns itself with the way images are represented and received. Photography for me is a really important and powerful tool in getting people to look at the ways that they do things and accept things blindly and get them to kind of think about that a little deeper. I undertake research by saturating my world with the colour of the subject. Reading books, listening to podcasts, going to exhibitions and looking at the work of other artists really creates a base for me to work from. Some of the visual references that I'm using for my current project are Laura Latinsky, Molly Madalone, Nan Golden and Caroline Tompkins. This particular project has been really exciting for me to research. Not only is it influential for my practice, but also the ways that I am negotiating and considering my own relationships. Sex, intimacy, friendship, and something we're thinking about already. So to have a research tool, which is photography, to really unpack the way that intimacy exists in both a private and political context is such a privilege. The way I experiment in my practice is by pushing out in style before I find rhythm that sits. Working with photography in styles of documentary, portraiture and still life, I like to keep the subject matter alive in the way that I explore that. Another way that I've been experimenting within my practice is in the way that I am presenting my work. Experimenting with printing on glass and fabrics and different paper stock has really engaged a new aspect of my work. In the act of folding and hanging and working spatially, I'm able to reference metaphors within the subject matter and what's happening within the frame and communicate that in a more visceral way. When I come into conflict within my practice, I often turn to a new medium. Writing is a respite that allows me to work out the kinks that I'm unable to push past photographically. Uh, in this way, I can also guide the direction of my photographic practice from a new perspective. I become quite nomadic and ritualistic in how I like to create my work. When I write, I often will walk to a cafe untethered from my phone or internet and sit myself down to, for hours to just write. Photographically, I like to meet with my collaborators in a space that they feel the most comfortable in. Um, the way that I process then is from conducting long conversations around a subject matter at which point I might take a photograph and I might not. Sometimes the conversation is more important to the work. I also really love to look at lighting in the world and will often just clock times when the light falls on something really beautifully or the time of day just strikes me as being quite sublime. 